Hello and welcome. I want to share with you adding data validations to data form. For instance, you may want the form to have one of its fields restricted to a selection from a list. Another validation could be that an enter date cannot be in the future. How do we implement these validations using data form? The first thing to know is that the validation must be applied to the records before turning the range or table into a data form. For instance, we want our category field to contain limited number of items, clothing, food, and toiletry. Let's add a list data validation to our category field. Select the column you want to apply the validation to. Click on Data menu and click Data Validation from the Data Tools section of the ribbon. When the Data Validation dialog box appears, select the List Validation type. Type out the items we want for the list, clothing, food, and toiletry, separated by comma and then click OK. Now, we have applied our data validation. Every time we enter a value for the category field, it should be part of the list we have specified. Now that we have applied the validation, let's attempt adding a new record using data form to see how the validation works. Activate a cell within the data range and press Alt plus D on the keyboard, followed by the letter O. We could have also clicked the form command on the Quick Access toolbar. To add a new record, click the New button and type out the new record. Since data form uses only text box for data entry, we lose the ability to select from a drop down list, and hence, we always have to manually type out the value. Now click the new button again or press the enter key to attempt adding the record. Since footwear was not one of the categories we specified during the validation creation stage, we get a warning preventing us from adding the record. To add the record, we need to make sure the value is part of the list. Change footwear to clothing and attempt adding the record again. Now we've successfully added the record. Just remember with data forms, if you add a data validation that uses a different control from text box, the control is ignored but the validation is applied. Thanks for watching.